Grains! Today I am back with part two of letting my parrot choose my art supplies. He is extremely fidgety, aren't you? I thought so. Even though in my videos sometimes I call him my chicken, a lot of you are like, this is not a chicken. But he believes he is a chicken. Right, Angel? He wants to be a chicken. You, you can't, can't argue with the fact that he wants to be a chicken. Can you say peekaboo? Go for it. <laughs> Alright, Angel, come. Come here. I said, come here. Bring your butt over here. Bird, I have to have a talk with you. Don't hurt me. Okay, you're, you're distracting me. I'm going to put you back into your cage. I'm going to write some stuff. Okay, let, let me finish first. I'm going to write some stuff and then give it to you and you're going to choose it for me. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! This time, I actually really want to challenge myself with materials I have never used before, so I'm going Japanese edition. You gonna help me with shoutouts? This week's shoutouts go to Psycho Alley, Sky Mercy, and Clay Kitten. If you want a shoutout in my Friday videos, don't forget the hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter anytime on Instagram or Twitter with any of your creations. The last time I was in Japan, I picked up quite a bit of different clays from the dollar store, and those include soft clay in red, pink, white, black, and yellow. Even though this is called soft clay, I am pretty sure it is just air dry clay. So I'm really curious to give it a try, especially the colors that I got. I, I wouldn't even know where to begin and what to make with it. I am, I am such a sucker for punishment. Why, why do I do this myself? Why? Because even though this is going to be quite the challenge using this, this would technically be my best choice. Wait until you see the other clay. Help me. The next clay is stone powder clay. I have no idea what stone powder clay is, nor how it's used, and the instructions are um, questionable. So if Angel chooses this, um, I'm lost. And then on the equally odd side, I have clay made with wooden powder. I, I have no idea if this is yellow or brown or... So this would be the other option that he can choose from. And last but not least, I just picked this up because it was really cute and I think it says Fua Fua, which is supposed to be like fluffy clay. So he has to choose between four different kinds. I am crossing my fingers. You know, I, I don't even know what I'm crossing my fingers for. Do I want to be exciting and daring? Or do I want to be um, taking the easy route? Next, I want to make sure that I have some sort of color options. If I do get the colored clay, that's good, but what if I get the other ones that have no pigment whatsoever? So I'm going to give myself the options of having either paint or chalk pastels. Chalk pastels would be the worst of the two, but that's gonna depend on my chicken's choice. Time to find out, do I have to use resin or no resin? And in this case, because I'm using air dry clay, that's going to be the challenge. All right, and since I don't want any responsibility in choosing the theme, because then you guys will be like, Jackie, you're not getting out of your comfort zone. You know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this right now, and I'm going to ask Instagram to send me five random themes, and I'll take the first five and put these on the paper right hither. Here's what I wrote. We're gonna send it and leave it completely up to you grains. So it's been a few seconds, and according to Instagram, a few people have seen this. I'm gonna swipe up and see if we have any options. Oh, so DJ Sadbean, which who I absolutely love. So a cloud theme. So the first one is cloud theme. Second person, Dashi, Dashi says island. So I'm gonna choose the first one. Oh, small bitchini says food. B221 characters. No, no, not people. I should have said rules. That's gonna be an option. That's gonna be an option. And then the other one is Sugarland or Candy themed. And we have Abby. And then we have Animal, Pumpkin. Okay, so these were the ones that I had, but the first five are the ones going on the sheets. All right, now that we have our options, let's go to my chicken and see which ones he picks for me. So I'll put two against each other, and the one that he picks first is the one that we're going to do and then we're going to pit it against the other ones by process of elimination. All right, Angel, I have a task for you. You ready? All right, let's do it. Soft clay orange, stone clay as pink. So exactly like last time, I'm going to put them over here and he's just going to run and pick one up. Which one are you taking? 
No! Stone Clay wins this round. Now we have wood versus stone. And, oh, again? <laughs> we can't take both. We're not doing both. Now we have stone versus Fua Fua. Time for the moment of truth and the clay is... <gasps> Yay! You scared me good. Is that on purpose? Dang that it. Chalk or paint? All right, go for it. Ah, dang it! Chalk? Why? Why? Why'd you do it? Why did you do it? Why? Resin versus no resin. Uh, no re Okay, that works for me. <laughs> Don't get aggressive. Hey! Don't do it! Don't do it! The themes. Island versus cloud. And he took island. Island versus food. Food! Food versus BT21. Food again! Okay, show me your pretty wings. Pretty wings! Now part of me wishes the BT21 was in there because now we have two different kinds of foods as the last choices. And uh, he took food. Alright Angel, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Let's get acquainted with the enemy because I haven't handled this clay before and I don't know what to expect. Ooh, that is really soft. It feels like wet paper. I don't know. It, it actually holds its shape really nicely, so that's definitely a plus. And it does say on the packaging that if it gets a little dry, I can use some water to kind of smooth things out. So the trick is going to be actually coloring this with chalk pastels, so let's do that. Usually when people think of food, they would do like the kawaii versions of donuts or pumpkins because of Halloween, candies. But I think what I want to do, since the theme for this month is going to be Halloween, I want to make an evil carrot. Let's not pretend that you guys are surprised. You don't come here for cute things. So I pulled up a couple of references. Do you think I'll be able to get something decent or am I gonna fail? Vote. See if you're right at the end. Before any of you say that using foil paper is cheating, the answer is nay. It is not cheating. Think of it as just adding more clay, but it's going to make it harden a little faster. And while I was at it, I decided to make the limbs because I do definitely want this carrot person to be standing. Look, look at that little dance. Standing like a pro. And then I went ahead and uh, made it a little too mantis-like. Oh, no. But what you gonna do about it? Hey, don't get close. No, no, stop it. Ah, oh, paint. I love you, acrylic paint, is what I would normally say. However, today we're going to be using chalk pastels. Dang nabbit, bird! It is such a hard way to color clay, and you can see how juicy that clay was. Just look, look all the way down there. It got stuck to the chalk pastels. Thank you for that. And no matter how much chalk pastel I put in there, the clay was uh, like a baby pink. It just wasn't getting into a darker color, so I decided to color it after I put it on top of the carrot. <laughs> to add pieces together, I was constantly using water. So don't think that I was just putting it, you know, dry on dry. I was putting a little bit of a, the wet on dry. That carrot tip kept wanting to crack and it's gonna come back and haunt us a couple of times. Now the chalk pastels. I tried the brush, I tried my fingers, I tried magical powers. It was so long and boring. No, oh, that that thing. Yeah, it just kept cracking. Er, make it stop cracking. In addition to being a pain in the butt to color things with chalk pastel, it is an absolute mess to work with. But the the upside of working with it is that you get a kind of organic color, and um, my carrot looks like Cheetos. That's all I could think of while I was making this carrot. Same thing for the limbs, I just added a little dab of water, put them on, and then colored them up. See that? That's how it is sped up times 10. We made it, little carrot Cheeto dude. Congratulations. Now let's do the cleanup. It was like cleaning up a dirty diaper. I'm either hopeful or not so smart because I keep insisting on coloring the clay with the chalk pastels and I just have to end up brushing it right on top anyways. Two things you need to know about this clay. First, you're working against time because it starts to dry out very quickly. So your pieces become limp and crusty. Just look, look at those cracks. 
Secondly, even though you are working against time, it's not exactly hardening, it's just becoming unworkable. So when I wanted to make the carrot top, I had to think outside the box. After I made the shape, I went ahead and actually put those pieces on foil paper and then shoved them in the oven. Now, now don't do what I do, because I think some air dry clay actually melts in the oven and I just, you know, I take risks and sometimes they work. Remember that carrot tip that kept wanting to break? Well, it finally broke. Because the clay is in just such a weird time where it's not completely dry and it's not workable, so it just falls and cracks and you put water and it's like, <coughs> nope. Here's my carrot zombie monster. I, I don't have paint, obviously. Thanks, Angel. <coughs> So what I want to try and do, since I still want it to be a straight, slim line, and I don't want it to stick out too much with the clay, I'm going to try and take some chalk pastel, put some water in there, and see if we can get a kind of pigment. A couple of drops. I have no idea how much is going to be enough, but we definitely want it to be diluted in the water and strong enough. I don't want it to be gray. I, I, I want dark, evil. Actually, they could have been red, but the, the, it, it's orange. Let's make it dark. So let's give it a try, and since mama didn't raise no fool, I'm gonna do it on a test piece instead of directly on the carrot dude. All right, and what do we get? Okay, that's not too bad. So it's not fully pigmented, but I think it does its job enough to look creepy. that was made by my parrot's choices of craft supplies. I had no idea what to make with the theme of food. It was like the most vague one ever. It feels like there's some heavy inspiration by some cuphead monsters though. Had I not used a aluminum foil on the inside, there may have been a possibility that it would have cracked more and I would have had to wait longer for it to harden. Once it was hardened, it is super light. It almost feels like you're carrying absolutely nothing. And my guess, if I leave it hardened for a few more days, it's just going to be a little more solid. Would I work with this clay again willingly? The answer is no. I am not a fan of air dry clay. What would you have made with the theme of food? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you click over here. And if you want to watch a salty video, make sure you click down there. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. Stay salty.